It is 713 on this Sunday morning. We have to talk about the forecast because it's yeah. going to be hot today, but even hotter the days going forward. Mary mm -hmm. just kind of scary heat. It's going to be unbearable. It's going to be yeah. oppressive and I don't care how much you love the heat. Mm -hmm. It's the humidity. That's so, what so the dry heat's different than when you have the yeah. humidity and it's feeling in the hundreds. So, yeah. you know, you have to make sure you're finding ways to stay cool and hydrated, staying safe, especially uh, with kids being outside, your pets, all of that elderly. Uh, so looking at an excessive heat watch and that starts tomorrow morning and it goes all the way through Friday evening, could even be extended. And this could also turn into a warning, which would be heat, a heat index over 105 degrees. So right now on our satellite and radar, it's a quiet start. We have a few clouds, a beautiful sun. Sunrise. So I was driving in this morning, 60 degrees out there. So it is comfortable. It's not going to be as humid as it's going to be, but it's still going to be hot into the upper 80s with a lot of sunshine. So make sure you put on that sunscreen because you can get burnt very quick if you do not. Temperatures right now are in the low 50s in Newcastle, so it's very comfortable there. Franklin also comfortable at 53. We're at 56 right now in Catanning. So just looking at today, our high temperatures making it to the upper 80s. A lot of sunshine to enjoy, but looking at a heat wave, which would be two or more consecutive days of 90 degrees in a row. We're definitely going to see that the longest stretch that we had was July 4th through the 16th back in 1988 of 13 days in a row. And then the least amount we've had was, you know, August 31st, September 9th, 10 days. So this is pretty extreme when we're looking at the stretch of 90 degree days that we've had, but it's also going to be hotter than 91, which is what we the last time we hit 90. So 2023, but also looking at July 17th, 2012, 97. We have some 97s in the forecast can't roll out 100 degree temperatures. We haven't hit that since 1988 and August 17th. So yeah, it's it's going to be a big change coming our way. We could have record heat. We're forecasting 94 tomorrow. Uh, the record is 95 degrees for that day set back in 1994. Same for Tuesday. We're forecasting 95. The record high is 97 set back in 1994. And just think about how hot a car is going to get how quick when it's 90 degrees where we could see in 60 minutes 133 degrees. So lethal temperatures here. Remember, this is why we say do not leave your kids or pets in the car. So just looking at our future cast, we have nice and quiet conditions today, but just looking at tomorrow, a small chance for a stray shower to pop up uh, through the afternoon. Same again for Tuesday, but you know, rain could really cool things down just a little bit for a few areas. So the better chance would be Monday uh, for a few of those showers and storms to pop up, but it's still going to be very hot, very humid. That's going to last through the end of the week. We do catch a little relief from the humidity on Thursday into Friday, but we're still going to be in the 90s. So tonight, very mild, a big temperature change from where we're waking up this morning. We're going to be in the upper 60s, still mostly clear, but southerly winds are pumping in that warm air. So looking at our first alert weather, a seven day forecast each day next week is a KDKA first alert weather day because of this excessive heat. Mid 90s Monday and Tuesday lows in the 70s. Here comes the heat wave Wednesday for Juneteenth, 96 degrees, 96 on Thursday, 97 on Friday, and we're looking at the mid 90s on Saturday. So make sure you're finding ways to stay cool and hydrated, stay safe, and don't forget to check on your neighbors.